Hey there drone fans, today I'd like to show you the zoom capabilities of the DJI Mini 4K drone. Now this drone is already jam-packed with features that are great for new flyers, you know, things like single button takeoff and landing, where in the application you can tap the screen, the drone will spin up, lift off the mat, and hover at about three feet until you're ready to fly, and then when you're done for the day, just come back to your home point, hover over the mat, tap the screen again to have it automatically land. It also has great transmission technology built in that's based on OcuSync 2 from DJI that guarantees a rock solid connection between the drone and the controller up to 10 kilometers away, which means you won't have to worry about losing your drone. And it has great flight technology built in that on a fully charged battery, this drone can stay aloft for up to 31 minutes. That's almost unheard of in a drone this size. It has a lot of safety features built in, so it's got a feature called Return to Home where the drone is constantly monitoring the battery level and all the technology inside, and if something isn't working or if the battery gets really low, the drone takes over the flight, spins to face your home point, flies back and lands where it took off. And it's got a lot of AI built in, so it's got automated flight patterns that you can trigger by tapping the screen and have it fly away from you and capture some video or fly around you or chase you through the woods, so it's really a very sophisticated drone. But the real reason you're looking at a camera drone is because of the camera functions. This drone can record 4K video and take some pretty incredible pictures, and it also has zoom built in. And I think that's a feature a lot of people overlook because zoom is one of those features that allows you to fly the drone close to a subject, like a deer in the woods or a lake you want to get a shot of, and actually pull in on that image to enlarge it. Now, there's two ways you can do a zoom. The more sophisticated drones actually have an optical zoom where they can vary the lens distance and actually pull in optically, and that's really the best way to do a zoom. The other way, which is a little bit more technical, is to use a digital zoom, which is what this drone's using. Now, digital zoom can be tricky because essentially what you're doing is capturing the same number of pixels and you're spreading them out. You're actually enlarging that image, and the problem with that is that if you don't have a good imaging package inside the technology, you're going to get a fuzzy picture. It's going to look blown out. And we've all done that on our computers where you've got a small picture and you've enlarged it and you realize, boy, that's awful fuzzy and there's no way to clean that up. Well, the drone itself has that advanced image processing technology inside that when it pulls back on that image, it actually looks like, a, like an optical zoom. It's pretty incredible. So I'm going to show you two examples here, but I want to give you the specifications first. So with the drone, if you're taking images, you can do up to a 2x zoom, which I think is pretty good. And I'll show you an example of that in a minute. If you're recording video at 1080p, you can enhance it up to 4x. So you can pull in up to 4x the size of the image you're viewing. And again, normally that would be a problem because it's hard to enlarge that image because you've got the same number of pixels. It's going to be fuzzy and pixelated. When I show you the images from this, you're going to actually be very impressed. So what you're looking at now is a, a tower. It's like a rescue tower out in the woods. And this is what the drone can see normally. And here's what it looks like when I 2x the zoom. Now this next thing I'm going to show you is video, because in video you can actually go from 1x, which is the standard image, up through 2x, all the way up to 4x, and you've got control over that on the screen. You can actually drag down on the screen and increase that zoom, but I'm going to show you three different settings here. So here's the original image, here's me zooming it to 2x, and here's me zooming it to 4x. I think that's pretty incredible. Now, where would you use that? Well, you'd use it a lot, because if you're out filming with a drone, drones can be noisy. And if you're trying to capture some wildlife, maybe it's a, a bird, or it's a deer, or it's a muskrat, whatever it happens to be, getting that image by flying in close is going to cause the, the object you're trying to record to look up at the drone. It's going to catch their attention, they're going to hear it. So it's really hard for you to get that image of the deer without startling that deer. With a zoom, you can stay further back, and you can pull in using that digital zoom and get the image you need without actually being that close to the wildlife. So a lot of additional functionality built in. But again, what I keep going back to with this drone is that this is an excellent drone for new flyers. It's easy to fly, has great technology built in. It's pretty much budget friendly for a lot of people that are looking to join the hobby. And on top of that, you've got digital zoom, again, 2X on images, up to 4X on video if you're in 1080p, which I think is a feature that really enhances this drone beyond the average drone. So I've said it before, if you've ever thought about joining the hobby and you're curious about flying a drone, the DJI Mini 4K could be a great starter drone for you to get involved in the hobby because it gives you a wonderful drone experience, incredibly easy to fly, a lot of safety features built in, and I'm telling you, it's a whole lot of fun. So I hope you found value in the clip and thanks for watching.